A dictatorship is when one person is in charge of a country or state and all the rest of the people living there are forced to obey him. You will do what I say. An obliarchy is a bit like a dictatorship except there is a group of people instead of one person as the ruler. We three kings of right here are Boss of everyone we are. When a small group of military leaders takes over and forms an obliarchy, it is called a junta. An absolute monarchy is basically a dictatorship by a different name. I am a dictator. I mean, absolute monarch. In a constitutional monarchy, the law or constitution has ruling over the monarch. I was in charge, but I'd sure like to be in charge. In a republic, voting citizens have sovereignty. They elect representatives. A republic does not have a monarch. We the people, we the people, we the people picked you out. If you do not do what we say, we will kick you out. Republics have either a parliamentary or a presidential government. In a presidential republic, the voters choose the president either directly or, in the case of the United States, through the Electoral College. In this type of government, the president fills both the roles of head of state and chief executive, and he is not part of the elected federal assembly, and he also may or may not be part of the majority party in the National Elected Assembly. We like you now, but if you do something we don't like, we can always kick you out. In a parliamentary government, when a certain party wins a majority of the seats in the National Elected Assembly, their party leader becomes the new Prime Minister. The Prime Minister is both Chief Executive and also is still in the National Assembly. In a complete democracy, all the people act as the Congress and make laws and decide on decisions. There is no chief executive. Thanks for watching. See you later.